Hi everyone, I am back today with a video about the Marvy LaPlume alcohol markers that I showed you guys in a recent haul and said I was going to do a separate video um, telling you about these markers and this is all just personal preference, personal experience, uh, personal opinion <laughs> type of thing. This is not, no one's, you know, paying me to do this or anything. I just want those of you out there who cannot afford the Copics um, in the same situation that I'm in on a, you know, specific crafting budget. So these, these are, so far they're perfect for me and what I do. I don't color every day. I don't, um, it's not the only thing I do. So I can see that these markers will probably last me quite some time. So, um, let me start by telling you about the markers. That's where, and then I'll show you that in a minute. Um, these... Like I said, they are Marvy LaPlume alcohol markers. Um, Marvy does have water-based markers. Those are not the ones I use. These are gray, and I've never seen these in a store. So I, I don't really go to the store and try to go, okay, well, I don't have this color and this color, so no, I ha I've ordered all of mine online. And they have a brush tip. It's pretty soft when you're actually coloring. So you can use your little flicking motions and, and whatnot. Um, so what I what I've noticed just I don't own any Copics so I can't compare this to an actual Copic on camera for you guys um, so I'll just tell you what I know about the Copics and then what I you know obviously know about these these are all numbered on the tips so this says Y610 so all of the tips are numbered they are also numbered on the stickers that are on with the barcodes so it has the number and it actually has the name of the color so if you're more familiar with uh, wanting to know the names or whatnot but it is also here um let's see what else these price wise um, on the Marvy Yukata website, uh, we'll put links in the description for some of the places that I go to buy these. You can get these for $2.99 each, which is a fairly good deal considering most Copics cost $6 or $7 a piece. So, um, the only thing that I've noticed that you know some people may not like is that they're they're not double sided they only have the one brush tip and they are not refillable so you can't buy refills for these and then fill them back up once they're once you've used all the ink you do have to purchase a new one but like I said I don't color enough I mean I, I, I color enough but I don't color so much that I'm gonna have to replace them constantly so you know they are definitely budget friendly as far as that goes most of the stamps that I use are digital stamps I do have a few small studio G stamps I've used or um, some of my greeting form stamps that I've used and such to to do some of my coloring with and I will show you some samples but um yeah, I think they're terrific. Price, quality, you name it. They're pretty cool. <laughs> so, um, let me show you the sheet that you can download. And this is at blockheadstamps.com. 
and they have a blank marker sheet that you can print out and then you can uh, fill it in as you go when you collect your markers. So kind of the same lines as the Copics, but I don't think, or I haven't heard anyway, that they will be making any new markers. As far as I know, this is all they have. There's 144 total. So that's all markers. That includes the blending pen, a white, a gold, and a silver. I don't have the blending marker yet. So I've just started off with colors. Um, like I said in my little haul video, I started collecting in sets. They have nine sets. So they have, each set has six markers in it. So they have a set of reds, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, um, violets, pinks, cool grays, and neutrals. So they have nine, nine sets of six total that you can start off with. And that's how I started because I wanted to find, I didn't want to have to try to blend colors on my own. I wanted them to come fairly easy starting off with. So um, the greens I kind of guess with. Sometimes they turn out, sometimes they don't. But like the yellows, the yellows you can kind of see which one might be your darker color, which one might be your lighter, so what would blend. And the same with the blues, it's kind of guesswork. But with some of these, these blue-violet colors down here, and then some of these violets here, and some of the pinks and salmons and stuff like that, um, those are pretty easy to blend because I do have similar colors that are close enough together. So that's the sheet, and um, I was told that you can take your Bic markers and you can use your Marby markers and you can blend some of the color out of your Bic markers. I have not personally tried that, so I'm not sure. It's just something I heard, so I'm not 100%. I, like I said, I have not tried that yet. So I don't know. Um, I do use my Bic markers a lot as far as hair goes because I don't have any of the browns and things like that, or they call them earth colors. I don't have those in the Marvy alcohol markers yet. So I made this on my computer and then, so I just typed out all the names of the Bic market markers and then I just drew these little squares over here and I colored them in. So that was kind of my <laughs> sheet for colors. Um, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, I have a bunch of favorite flowers that I do like using. I color a lot of flowers. Normally when I'm blending or coloring with these markers, I choose two colors that I'm going to blend together. I've not used more than two colors at a time, so I guess I'm just comfortable with two, so I don't really go out of my comfort zone as far as that goes. Now some of these, uh, some of the markers are a little wetter than, than the others. So I, I tend to go out of the lines a lot. I'm still a work in progress here. Totally not a professional. These are some digital stamps from Trina Clark. I will put her link in the description also. You can go check out some of her stamps. Um, they come in sets and this is one of my favorite flowers to do, or little bundle of flowers. So that's using some of the purples and the pinks. Um, here's another one. This was when I first got some of these markers and these were the colors I had. And then normally I just take some stickles and I make the centers all sparkly, you know, whatever. Um, this is from a set called Sweetie Birds, and this is another 
cool flower that I did. Like I said, I'm still, I'm by no means a professional colorer at all. I just do um, what I like or what I think looks good. So, you know, I just, I do color lots of flowers. And then cut them out, put them on cards, whatnot. I did do some, I did a cloud and a sun up here. And sometimes you can actually take the one color and you can make spots darker and blend light just by the way that you color if you don't color real hard. Um, I also like another digital stamp artist named Christy Daly. She has some really, really cute uh, little kids that you can color that are very, very simple. Um, they're called Watermelon Boys, Watermelon Girls. Um, she has some little boys and little girls. And they are just really, really basic. So if you're just wanting like kids to practice on and things like that, I totally recommend getting these. I will put her link in the description also. So this is, um, this is a little girl from the Watermelon Girls set. And for her hair, I did use the Marvy markers on this one, but I only used two colors. So I think it just kind of depends on how you color. And then her, this is all, no, I take that back. The black on her dress and then the black on the bottom of her shoes was a big market, the tuxedo black. And then the, the white polka dots are with a gel pen and the rest is all Marvy alcohol markers. And this is just using two colors of the yellow and the same with her shoes and her little hair ties. And I, if you get the set of oranges, um, there are like three skin tones in there. So I just used the lightest one that I had. And I didn't, I didn't use two for coloring her. I, it's just the way that I colored, it kind of shaded itself. So I'm, I'm okay with that. And then I did one of the little boys, and so this is from the Watermelon Boys. Um, I did use Big Markets for his hair, two colors, and then his skin, his shirt, his shoes, and his pants are all Marvy alcohol markers. His pants are all one color. I just went over it a few times, a little lighter, so it would kind of resemble a pair of jeans maybe. So that's what I like about these markers. You don't always have to use two colors. So depending on the way that you color, um, lighter, heavier, you can shade with just one, one marker, which I think is fantastic. Um, I did try two colors for his shirt. Didn't turn out the way I wanted to, but he's still good enough to put on a card for me. Just saying. <laughs> um, like I said, I am not a professional. I'm still learning. I color for fun because I like to. I still love using my colored pencils, but these markers are a lot of fun. Um, I do want to show you something that I made just the other day. Um, the inspiration for this little book came from a friend of mine. I still consider her a friend. We don't chat as much as we used to, but she is in Canada. Her name is Tracy, and here on YouTube she is known as Tracy's Treasures 24. She last year did a Copic marker journal and she made one for herself and a friend of hers. Well at the time I thought, oh I want to buy Copics just to make the little book because it was so stinking cute. But like I said, Copics are just not not in my budget. So I decided to make mine just an alcohol marker journal. And I printed this, just printed this off my my computer and then cut it to um, the size of this. This is actually, this book is uh, four and a quarter by five and a half and I just used my bind it all for that. And what I did in mine 
she obviously made hers for Copics, and there is a download. I will put that in the description also. The link to go get, there's like 10 pages um, that this lady did that you can print out. It's a PDF file you can download. You can print them, and when you print them off, you just cut them at four and a quarter by five and a half, and it gives you four, four pages for, for each sheet that you print out. So depending on how many you want and whatnot. Um, what I did is I took this this big sheet and thought, okay, you know, I don't really want to <laughs> have this hanging out all the time. It's kind of big. So what I did is I took parts of it, copy and pasted them in a paint program um, in my paint shop, and printed them out so I could make the four and a quarter by five and a half inch sheets. So on this page I have my yellows and greens, then the blue, blue violets and violets, and then the pink violets, pinks, and reds, then oranges and earth tones, then my ash gray, cool grays, and neutrals. So as I get those I can fill them in and they do bleed through the back um, I use the Recollections paper from Michaels. So, um, yeah, hang on. One second. Okay, sorry, my dog had to go out. <laughs> Didn't want her to sit there and cross her little doggy legs. Um, okay, so those are the little pages I did. Like I said, it does bleed through. I use the white cardstock from Michaels, the Recollections, and I like it. Now this page, um, I have customized this book to, to my personal needs. This is from a full sheet that you can download at whimsydoodles.com and it's under their free section. And it's just a practice sheet for hair. Um, some of the little people that are up there in the animals and stuff at Whimsy Doodles are really super cute too. I have a few of them. But this is the sheet for the girl hair. And it prints out like this. That's my sad attempt at coloring hair. But <laughs> um, And then this is the boy one. So you can do little boy hair. So that's what they look like in a full sheet. And I just um, did it to where I could print two so I can practice hair in here, which I have not done yet. And then I have the boy sheets. And like I said, I will put a, I'll put a link to this one in the description too. These, these sheets here, I did print off from the little Copic one. They look like this. And these are the last page that you can print out on the PDF for the Copic journal. And so I printed a few of them off to stamp some stamps that I like. This is one of my favorite flowers I like to color. And then I just wrote the two colors I used um, to color those. So then I put some blank pages in here so I can either stamp what I want or um, I could take, you know, a couple of these. I can cut these down and I can tape them in here. So that way I have some of my favorite color combos or whatnot. Well, then I decided I still do use my Bix a lot. So I made a page for the Bic Market Colors and colored all those in so it has the name and then the color and then the same thing. I just printed out the same sheets and then that's that. So it's just a little book um, not to really travel with because like I said I can't just go to the store and buy each one of these markers as I want them. So I don't really have to use it as a buying guide. 
but it's nice to have because it's small and I can set it on my desk instead of this big sheet that I have here getting covered with stuff, at least the book, I know, um, you know, having a page open, at least with this, this binding, I can pick it out of a mess a lot faster. So, um, like I said, I'm not a professional. I do just color for fun and whatnot. I'm on a digital design team and so I do color once a month to post on there, um, mainly cards and such. So um, I do use a second sheet of paper underneath my cardstock just because it does bleed through, as you can see on this paper. This is just like an ivory color I pulled out. So I do use that or an extra mat that I have, the pink one that you guys have seen um, Caleb use because I have ruined spots on my mat from coloring through. So I learned quickly. And then this, as I color in the colors I need, I just use this um, to back it so it doesn't go on to the next page. So kind of a bookmark thing. So that is that. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything specific that I didn't talk about that you might want to know, um, if I can help, I will. Like I said, I will put links in the description so you can see um, different, uh, different places you can get some of the really simple digital stamps to start off with. You, some of them can get real complicated. I don't do complicated. <laughs> the easier the better for me. And like I said, these, being able to print these in different sizes, you can have, you know, lots of space to color and, and things like that. So I hope this helps you guys understand a little bit more about the Marvy Laplume alcohol markers. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.